Hi guys, this is Elise and I have not been on here. It seems like a while. I have not spoken with you guys since before the craft show. And I just wanted to just let you guys know that the craft show went really well. I actually sold almost everything that was on my table. I brought home just a few things. There were some things that sold really well, like the, the snowman heads on the spools. Those went very quickly. Um, the little gingerbread faces, I thought those were going to be a really big hit, but they actually, those are kind of a hard sell. I took nine of those and I came back with three, which they eventually sold, but they didn't sell as quick as the, um, the, the snowman heads on the spool. So, you know, I did really well. Like, like I said, I came back with just a few things. I was really tired. It took me a while to kind of a couple days to kind of recoup from that and, and in between, I actually had to get some things prepared for my son, which my son came a couple days after the craft fair. Him and his girlfriend came from California, and they just left a couple of days ago. And now I am getting ready to receive my brother and his family. They will be here tomorrow. So I hope everyone is preparing for Thanksgiving and having lots of fun, but not getting too stressed. So I hope everyone, you know, enjoy, enjoy the moment, guys. Enjoy the time that you have with your families and friends. So with that being said, I received some happy mail from my dear friend, Rhonda Coleman. Hi, Rhonda. And Rhonda is, Rhonda's got a project on YouTube and she's uh, the same on Instagram as well. And if you guys do not know Rhonda, I will put the links to her Instagram and her YouTube in the description box below. Go check her out because she has the cutest little projects. And I love Rhonda's crafting because she uses what she has. And she, to me, is a true crafter. She really does craft with what she has and um, makes just the cutest embellishments, um, the cutest journals. She's such a, a wonderful journal maker. So you guys go check her out. So let me show you what she sent to me. Um, she sent me a bunch of... Uh, Little things that I can use. Um, first of all, she sent me these little um, cookie cutters. And she tied some ribbon at the top and she added glitter all over the ribbon. Can you guys see that? I love that. That's so pretty. So there is a snowman and a Santa Claus face. So she sent me some cookie cutters. And I'll definitely be using these, Rhonda, because every year I make like little cookies. I'm not the best baker, guys, but I do around Christmas time and holidays, I do like to bake. And they may not, my things may not turn out pretty, but they do turn out tasty. Okay, and then she sent me one of these trees. And this one I'm going to hang on my tree. And she's got the top of it is kind of curled over, so I think um, it's meant to hang on the tree. So I'm going to hang on the tree. And she's got this beautiful um, traditional colored uh, ribbon. It's like vintage ribbon. And it could be fabric that she tore and made these strips and she's got some sheer ribbon here and some of this green ribbon so really pretty thank you Rhonda and there was a card let me see here's a card now Rhonda always says she's not a card maker but her cards are absolutely adorable and I love this when I did peek at the card it says friends are like pockets you can never have too many and I love this look at the pockets and she's got this one popped up popped up on top of the card and she's got th these two little girls coming up out of the pocket. That's adorable, Rhonda. I love it. And look at this. Um, okay, she put, hi, my friend, just a few of my goodies. Thank you, Rhonda, so much. And then she's got these little girls in these little pockets. How cute is that? That is absolutely adorable. So thank you, Rhonda, for that card. And then she sent me one of these uh, gingers that I can put a picture on and hang this on my tree. That's adorable. I can also... If I wanted to, I can trace this and make more gingers. I can't wait to get some crafting in, guys. I have not crafted in about a week since the craft show. Um, I have not done any crafting, so I'm excited to do that. I know Rhonda has a craft fair coming up the day after Thanksgiving, so good luck with that, Rhonda. I'm sure you're going to do well. She sent me this cute little spoon that she made. Rhonda, I'm going to put a hanger on him and hang him on my tree. He's so cute. Or I may even just tuck him over on my coffee bar. And then she sent me some of her, um, she sent me three of her snowman soup packs. And I think there's a pack of hot cocoa in these. And then there's a peppermint on the outside. This is a wonderful idea for the craft fair. I know she takes these to her craft fair. 
So she sent me three of those. I'll share one with my, my husband and my daughter. Okay. And then she sent me all these little packages with things inside. Okay. So this is... Okay, let me open. I'm going to have to open this so I can see what this is, guys. Okay, so... Oh, okay. I know what this is. Okay, this is one of her little wine bottle um, birdhouse ornaments. Look how adorable this is, guys. So you guys can go over to her channel and check out how she made these. She did a video showing how she made these. Uh, she collected all of these little wine corks, and then she made this one into like a little birdhouse. How adorable is that? So that's definitely going to go on my tree. Okay, and then here's another little packet here. And she's got it wrapped in this really pretty Christmas uh, paper. Okay, and this one is uh, another little card that says, It is Christmas in the heart that puts Christmas in the air. It's just a little card, and she's got a little note. Um, okay, she says, On the tree there's a candy cane, Tim Holtz charm, Lily of the Valley tag, wooden buttons, two rusty jingle bells, star on top, green and red jingle bells. And it says, can you find them? So look how adorable this is. She makes these wonderful rag um, Christmas trees. This is adorable. So, so there is a button there. I see jingle bells. Um, I saw a little ginger. Where did he go? Here's a little ginger here. And she just keeps all of her, I know Rhonda doesn't throw anything away. She keeps all her little scraps and even her fabrics. She can make these little wonderful little trees. So this is very prim. I love it, Rhonda. Thank you so much. So that is so cute. I know she takes these to her craft fair with her. So thank you so much for sharing one of these with me. That's so cute. I love it. Okay. And then she's got another little packet here. Let's see what's inside. Um, this one, okay, so she also made this, and this is just a little baggie of confetti, and she used, which I thought was really clever, some of the little scraps of fabric. She cut them like really, really tiny, and she put, I see gingers in there, I see little Christmas tree stars, and then there's lots of fabric scraps, and that little sequence mix. It's really, really cute, and I love the way... Rhonda takes her sewing machine and she just ties and and sews all this stuff together. So adorable. Okay, let's see what this is. I love Rhonda. I love all your little homemade goodies. Okay, so this is okay. This is enough, another another. Um, sorry guys about that crinkling sound. I should have opened up all these little bags. Let me see. Okay, just a second, guys. Let me see. Dropped it on the floor there. Okay, so this is, sorry guys, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it open here. Rhonda, you got this in here, wrapped really well. Okay, so, oh, how cute. Okay, so there's a little snowman. See what I'm talking about when I say Rhonda uses all her little scraps and just little things that she has to make the cutest little um, embellishments and things, okay? And then this is just a fabric like cluster Look how cute. It says sweater weather. And she's got all these bits and pieces of fabric. This is definitely going to go on a journal. And then here's another little uh, rag cluster. So adorable. It's just so pretty. I mean, it's just scraps of fabric, but I just absolutely love it. Okay, and then here is a music note, like little uh, pocket that can go in a journal page. And then she sent me some of this really cute fabric. This is adorable. I love this. With the strawberries, she knows I love strawberries. So cute. And then here are some napkins. This one says, give thanks. And look at this one, count your blessings. This is really pretty. I'm going to love um, Mod Podging these into my journal. So cute. Thank you, Rhonda. And then here is another little, oh, this is really cute. Thank you very much. So cute. And it's just sewn bits and pieces of fabric with this little tag. That's absolutely adorable. So thank you, Rhonda, so much. And then she sent me this. Okay, so she sent... Oh, this is cute. Okay, this is a ginger... Oh, this is cute, Rhonda. 
really cute. This is that um, melamine, I think it's called melamine material, I think. But this plate, this ginger, so adorable. Okay, he is definitely going to go out with my Christmas decor. So cute. Look at that. That's adorable. And then, oh my gosh, I can't believe you sent me this, Rhonda. Okay, so Rhonda knows that I love aprons and I love vintage aprons more than anything. And so she sent me this gingham vintage apron. And this one even has, I think this is the one, did it have pockets or no? Okay, no pockets, but that's okay. Okay, this is cute. So it's the, it's got the band at the top. And then it's got this Rick Rack at the bottom. So cute. Rhonda, thank you so much. I absolutely love that. And then there's one more thing that she sent. Oh, she did send me some candies. And I did already, you can see I already opened those. And then she sent me, I know Rhonda has more than one of these. I think she said she had three. Um, the Better Homes and Garden, the cookbook. This one is actually in really good shape. This is actually, and I do not have one of these. Thank you so much, Rhonda. And you know, even though these books are old, the recipes are still out, um, wonderful. And I like to cook, guys. And this, let me see if I can see if there's a date on this one. This one is copyright, uh, let me see, just a second, guys, let me see. I don't know if there's a, a date on this one. It might've been 2000. It's the 11th edition, and it says on the front, 1930 to 2000. So it's got to be at least as old as 2000. Um, I don't know. But anyway, it's old. It's an older one. You can't, I don't think you can buy these anymore. But I absolutely love this, Rhonda. Thank you so much. And I've seen people take these and alter them and make them into journals and recipe books and add uh, more of their recipes inside but i'm just going to keep this one like this for a while and if i decide to do something with it i will but i think i'm going to just leave this in the condition that it's in because i absolutely love it okay so thank you Rhonda, so so very much you guys go visit Rhonda and give her some crafty love on her channel because she is the sweetest sweetest person and um and very very talented so uh, let me show you guys a couple of things since I have you on here. Let's see. Let me look at my time. Okay. I'm going to take a few more minutes. And I'm going to show you guys some stamps that I got in the mail. Some of them came from eBay and some of them came from other sales sites. Okay. So the first one I got, uh oh, this moth. <clears throat> um, the first one I got is this one. Now, some of these came from in groups that I took out the ones that I decided to keep. I thought this one was really, really cute. And this is a Stampendous stamp. And it is, uh, let's see if there's a year. This is 2011, Stampendous. Really, really cute. That's adorable. I like that. Okay, I'm going to go kind of quick, guys. Okay, and then I got this one. So cute, the little snowman. And uh, this one is, this is a um, Great Impressions. And there is no year, so I'm not sure what year it is. Great impressions. Okay. And this one is, this one is very cute. Little reindeer. It says Merry Christmas. With the little birdie sitting on top. And this is a, I think this is Penny Black, I want to say. Yep, this is Penny Black, 1998. And it's called... Reindeer warm-ups. Okay. There. Okay. All right. And then I found a ginger. Okay. I found this one. And this one I know came with a lot. This one came in a lot. And this is, um, this is a Annette uh, Watkins stamp, 1993. Okay. And then I got this Stampin' Up here, this Stampin' Up set. And I'm sure there was more. This is 1998. And I'm sure there was more in this set. But these two came together in a lot of stamps that I picked up. And I love this Vintage Santa. Very, very cute. You can pause if you want to read that sentiment. Okay. And there is a moth flying 
uh, every time we open up that back door, something comes in. It's part of living in the South. Okay, so here is another one, and this is Penny Black, I believe. Maybe not. Let me see. No, this is uh, Stamp Passions. And this is a uh, Susie Jill Stamp 1998. And it says, Away We Go. This is so cute. Look how cute that is. I love the little birdie sitting up there. So adorable. And then, guys, I got two gingers. <gasps> Look at these. I got these two. These were actually sold together. And I've had these for a couple weeks now. And it was really funny because I was online. I got these off Facebook Marketplace. And I was online at the right time because these had just gone up. No one had snagged them. And believe it or not, I got these very cheap. I got with shipping, these were about $15 together. So I was so happy when I found these. And these are JRL Design. And this is Ginger, and his name is, um, let's see, no name on this one. But it, it isn't a set because this one, see the writing on this one, and it says JRL Designs. And then this one has the newer, I don't know if this is the newer writing or the older writing, but you see the difference? So, but these are so cute, and I can't wait to color those up. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you guys, I went to um, the Goodwill. And I found this ribbon, and I absolutely could not believe. I got this ribbon for 99 cents. Look at this beautiful vintage ribbon. So pretty, and look how much it's on that spool. There's a lot. This was 99 cents. I already took a little bit off and shared it with a friend. And then I got this one as well, too. And there is a lot on there. See? So anyway, so those are my ribbons and that's what I got. And you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I did not come on for thir um, for Saturday Morning Makes this past weekend, but um, I have something coming up. Rhonda and I were doing a little collaboration for 12 Days of Christmas. And after Thanksgiving, the day after Friday, we'll be announcing that. So stay tuned. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And um, you guys enjoy your family, enjoy your friends. And just have a blessed, blessed Thanksgiving. Stay safe, be kind, and do something crafty. Okay, bye-bye.